I've got the James Bond films in a hat, this lovely hat, and I'm going to uh, pick a film. Oh, the first review is Goldeneye. Goldeneye is the first James Bond film to star Pierce Brosnan as 007. This next James Bond adventure was finally made six years after the last film, Licence to Kill, starring Timothy Dalton. The last two films in the series took a more dark and realistic turn, so it was decided that this next film would go back to its classic James Bondy roots. So, did this film leave us shaken or stirred with excitement? Let's find out. The plot! British secret agent James Bond and 006 Alec Trevelyan infiltrate a weapons facility in Russia. Bond succeeds in escaping, however 006 is supposedly killed. Nine years later, James Bond is given the task to retrieve the Golden Eye, a key to a space weapon that will shut down all electronic equipment. Boy, that would be bad for Q. You'd have to make gadgets out of cardboard and string. Bond soon discovers that the person behind wanting to wipe out London is 006 himself, Alec Trevelyan. Now Pierce Brosnan's James Bond must use his brains, seduction and awful puns to thwart 006's plans. Overall, this is a very interesting plot that grabbed my attention most of the time. The puns can be irritating, but I give the plot an 8. The James Bond Actor Pierce Brosnan is a good James Bond. However, he's not my favourite. Personally, I think his best performance was in The World Is Not Enough, because he finally looked comfortable in the role. However, in his other films, he just seems slightly awkward, as if he doesn't want to be there. That being said, he's definitely a cool-looking Bond, and if I were to imagine what a perfect James Bond would look like, he would look very similar to Piers Brosnan. I also think he delivers the Bond, James Bond line the best, too. I give Pierce Brosnan's performance in this film an 8. Bond villains! The Bond villains in this film are pretty good, although not the most memorable. The least memorable being the Russian general played by Gottfried John, and no, I cannot pronounce the character's name. Shoot me. Onatop is also an interesting side villain, who crushes people between her thighs. Yeah, I said interesting. But of course the main villain, played by Sean Bean, is excellent. And although he isn't Blofeld or Goldfinger, he is still a great bad guy. I give Bond villains this time round a 7. TITLE SEQUENCE SONG And now the title sequence song. This song is, originally, called Goldeneye, and it is sung by Tina Turner. Now, don't get me wrong, it is at least a good song, but it's not the kind of song that I would replay again and again and again. It certainly sounds Bondish, but it is quite slow moving, but it is well sung and the titles themselves are very surreal and Daniel Kleinman did a fantastic job. I give the title sequence a 6. The action scenes! Now this is where the film succeeded 100%. The action scenes are phenomenal, and although the later Pierce Brosnan films might have better scenes, <coughs> world is not enough, <coughs> the tank chase scene through Russia is one of the best action scenes in all 23 of the official James Bond films. I give the action scenes a well-earned 10. Goldeneye is a weird one to review. By no means is it my favourite, but it is not a bad film. It just seems slightly generic at times. The cast is very good, and the supporting roles of Alan Cumming, Robbie Coltrane, and the beautiful Isabella Skorupko as the Bond girl are simply brilliant. This is also Judi Dench's first film as M, and Desmond Llewellyn returns once again as my favourite Bond character Q. Samantha Bond also plays Moneypenny stunningly, and she will continue to in the next three Bond films. And she was a villain in the Sarah Jane Adventures. Whoop whoop! So, the overall score for Goldeneye is a 7.8. See you next time. So, I hope you enjoyed the Goldeneye review. Now, it's time for the next review. So, reviewed Goldeneye. So, the next review is... Let's shake it. Uh, I'm going to pick a weird one. Uh, oh! Oh, another pretty good one, in my opinion. Octopussy. Right, see you then. That review. Roger Moore.